Hello and welcome to Carolina News. I'm Camlin Moore. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Taylor Herlong. Six gunmen opened fire at the Bardo Museum in Tunis this afternoon, leaving 19 people dead and 22 injured. Tunisian security forces were able to kill two of the attackers and end a hostage situation at the museum. But three of the gunmen remain at large. Tunisian Prime Minister Habib Assad suggests the terrorists wanted to hurt Tunisia's economy by going after tourists. Assad did not specify where the attackers came from. One person is dead and at least three others injured in a series of shootings in Mesa, Arizona. Authorities say the injuries are being treated at five or six different locations. Three of the victims were shot in a hotel room where the incident apparently began early this morning. Police say the fatality was at the hotel. One victim is a student at the East Valley Institute of Technology, which has been put on lockdown. There was also a carjacking, but the vehicle has been located. Police have blocked off the area and are warning residents to stay away or remain indoors. If you have a moped or bicycle, you probably never want there to be a chance that it gets stolen. Well, there are certain precautions that can be followed in order to make sure this won't happen. Ashley Spivey has more. Other ways to prevent your bike or moped from being stolen is to personalize them by engraving your name and always park in a visible spot. USC fraternities are also taking some safety measures while giving to a good cause. The Greek Life Fraternity Council at the university plans to donate $10,000 to help support the Walk a Mile in Her Shoe event. The annual event raises money for survivors of sexual assault and helps to educate community members about preventing sexual violence. The council has partnered with sexu Sexual Trauma Services of the Midlands to receive sexual violence prevention education and learn how to intervene as a bystander. The walk will be held April 15th. Coming up next, spring weather is not the only thing exciting athletes. Now a new season has gym goers cutting their way to their dream body. With spring season upon us, it's also time for another season. That's right, it's cutting season. Everyone is up and at it in the weight room to lose their body fat they gain during bulking season. Jamal Simmons has more on the story. For anyone who would like to start cutting weight on your body, you can head to the Strom Thurmond Wellness and Fitness Center or the Solomon Blatt Physical Education Center here on campus. So Ashley, we've really been having some nice weather lately. I've been enjoying that 80 degrees. I don't know about you. Yeah. you know, is there going to stick around for the rest of the week? It was really nice today, but unfortunately we're going to be seeing some showers the rest, uh, the rest of the week. But I'll let you know coming again and it's going to be clear for next week. Sounds good. Sounds like maybe this cold front will be short-lived and we can get back into those higher temperatures. Definitely. That'll be nice. Well, coming up next, game best season last year, but hopefully they can bounce back from that and improve this year. What's it look like? Well, uh, us can battle and um, make a Final Four appearance, hopefully an NCAA championship run. Me too. They definitely deserve it. Yeah, they're awesome this year, that's for sure. We'll definitely cross our fingers. All right, coming up next, it's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's a flying car. Stay tuned, we'll show you right after the break. A Slovakian company is bringing a science fiction staple one step closer to reality. Aeromobile says it's designed a flying car that can land anywhere. The Roadster travels as far as 430 miles and at a speed of 124 miles per hour. What's more, in just two years, it may be ready to land in your garage. That's amazing. It makes you think, what are our kids going to grow up with if technology has already advanced this much? I know. I always joke that it would be awesome to have my own plane, but if your car could fly, who needs a plane, <laughs> right? It's <laughs> crazy. Well, Ashley, can we get another wrap-up forecast? Sure. To that. Definitely looking forward to it. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for being with us. See you tomorrow. Have a great evening.